ladies and gentlemen. Usually I like to make quite a dramatic entrance at this point, but sadly, uh, seating requirements uh, didn't let me get away with it. Uh, my name is Andrew Keats. Um, I'm one of the producers for Spotlight On and indeed for the Landor Theatre. The season this year has been a huge success with uh, musical theatre artists from 45 years ago coming back to the stage to, to new and exciting emerging talent. Usually at this point of the show, I give quite a generic reeling off of CV. Um, and I decided that this evening perhaps I would go a little bit more personal. Um, I first came across the incredible human being that is George Ewer nearly five, six years ago. Um, as I embarked on my second of three drama schools in training. Um, <laughs> man, you really liked me. Uh, and I have to say, um, without going into too much personal detail, but the book will be released in years to come. Um, it was a bit of a dark time, if I'm honest with you. Um, and personally, I lost quite a lot of things. And actually, I wanted to say, when it comes to bringing the person on stage tonight, he is my... He's my happy memory of a very dark time, and he is an exceptionally talented individual. Um, and it is an honour and a privilege uh, to give him his own evening this evening. And you haven't seen anything funnier than doing a ballet, tar a ballet class with him in a unitard. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the evening is his, Mr. George Yu. <laughs>
opportunity for us to sing songs we like to sing, we love singing, we're never allowed to sing on auditions, yes, you know what I'm talking about, those ones, and also some guilty pleasures. So when it came to put it together uh, at Mr. Robert Wall's house, we just kind of went, oh, I need a second number, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? And out of nowhere, it came to us. Uh, Ashley Russell, you might know this one. to welcome on stage my first guest. Um, it was dead easy when I, when I was offered this this evening to pick my guests because we've all worked together at some point. Actually, we haven't, but that's a different story. Um, and actually, three of them were in the one show because I spent a little bit of time in, in a show. Um, and the, the fifth was a new find at Christmas off in Panto Land. Hiya, John. <laughs> so, first onto the stage, please welcome my lovely and dear friend, Mr. Jeremy Leggett. <laughs> I think we should get a bit closer than we did in rehearsal. You felt a bit far away from me. Pretty women, fascinating, sipping coffee, dancing. Pretty women are a wonder. Pretty women sitting in the window, standing on the stairs. Something in them. Pretty women, celebrated, stay within you, glancing steady forever, breathing lightly, pretty Coming next, but no, 
I'm back on track. Uh, so I'm going to give Rob's fingers a little break because he's got enough to play tonight. And this next guest, we met, like I say, on Jack and the Beanstalk at Perth Theatre 2011-12. Uh, who else is in from panel? Where's Zoe and all that? Hiya. Uh, there they are. Hello. Some of our panto friends. Um, and it got to about two weeks ago, and I was pulling my hair out, we're doing 12 shows a week, etc. I'm like, ah, I've got this thing to organise, and I don't know when I'm going to get back to London, blah, 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 blah. I need a guitarist. Out it goes on Facebook. Anyone help me with it, out with a guitarist? And then all of a sudden, well, John plays the guitar beautifully, so why doesn't John do it? So it tied in great. Coming down for Moon House, audition, popping a gig, back to Glasgow. So I'm really, really lucky and grateful to have John here tonight, and we're going to do a couple of numbers for you. John McClellan. <laughs> This, this is my opportunity to fill for a second while he gets his guitar. I'm guessing that's his mind. And I'm guessing that's yours there. I'll help you out. <laughs> 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 mansions may know this one. Next. 
next one, uh, it was funny, I, I was doing Gigging for Good, I don't know if anybody was there, it was at the Actors Church in Covent Garden, Cassandra and I performed together, and it was organised by some ladies who are fans of Wicked, and are carers, child carers in, in, their, spare, in their real time, in their daytime, um, in their real jobs, uh, out with popping into the show. Um, so they came to me and asked if I would do it, I said, yep, and what are you going to sing? So I was kind of racking my brains. It's always the question. Everyone knows about 100 songs, and then as soon as someone says, oh, what are you going to sing for me tonight? You go, <laughs> um, and this one kind of came out of nowhere. I think it must have been on the radio, or as if I listened to the radio. <laughs> was on the <laughs> Please. Looking back in my brains, I think it was in your music folder. I got it for that. No, I didn't. Repertoire. It was in the repertoire. <laughs> right, so first of all, hello, yeah, Mike, you. Hello, Mike, you students, where are you all? Um, hear that? It was in my repertoire. <laughs> My day job at the minute is explaining how to these guys how to organise your repertoire, and that is it. You rack your brains when you're asked a question, you don't know how to answer. Uh, this one's for Lindy Wiley. Sunday morning and said, listen, I've got a spare ticket for this lady, do you want to come? I said, yeah, I'll go. So I went, uh, it was four o'clock, I couldn't be bothered, but I thought it's a night out. Because um, we, we, like we like a Sunday in. Um, <laughs> Curry. Curry night. Uh, 
And this lady was a Broadway performer, and she was an amazing singer, and she was cut, she was then performing in Gone With The Wind, which was gone with the wind. <laughs> Very swift. Um, however, uh, she said to us, she was talking to us, the second half of her set, she said, when you've got these nights, it's a privilege, and it is a real privilege, and you should use that to showcase new talent, which got me thinking. Uh, I judge a competition annually called the All Stars Competition at a musical theatre school in South London called Step Up Musical Theatre, who have some of the best young singers I've ever heard, and it's an absolute joy to go there every year. Um, there's one lady who sticks out for me, and I've seen her now probably three years, and each year I go back, she makes my jaw hit the floor, and just think, how can someone that young be so amazing? And she's here tonight to perform a couple of solos for you. So um, I'm going to leave you in the very capable hands of the young and beautiful and talented Miss Hannah Mishesha. Sure. 
my point. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? Um, to finish off on that story, I think it's nice that you hear it now. The girl that was brought on stage at that cabaret that night was Jessie J. <laughs> <laughs> without a record contract, without a name, without a profile, and that girl said, yeah, we'll give it a shot and I'll show off what you can do. So I have no doubt you're going to be storming the charts. No doubt. Amazing. Hand the <laughs> Okay, so moving swiftly along, keeping around the time here. Um, my next guest, um, <laughs> anyone who knows me knows we're never about two feet away from each other. Cassie Gobson. Obviously, you know, in Wicked we play the opposite of each other, a little double act, and I think we do it in real life, don't we? Um, Just a bit. And so when it came to picking the material for us to sing, I thought we can't exactly do the Governor's Mansion, can we? Um, so, uh, there's no wheelchairs on hand for you to do your Nessa one more time. Um, so I thought, let's think of a show that we both like, we both like to be in at some point, and we can play opposite each other. And this is Loki. I did not pick. <laughs> There's no time for us. There's no place for us. What is this thing that builds a Yet slips away from us. Who wants to live forever? Who wants to live forever? Mm. There's no chance. Um, 
Stop it. <laughs> um, this one was dead easy to pick, and you'll see why in a minute. Something has changed within me. <laughs> Something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too long, I thought too late for <laughs> I would have done it 1500 times. <laughs> too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and Too high a cost. I'd sooner die. 